morning well it's actually afternoon but who knows what time this video will go out it's the first week of may and i thought i'd show you some of the plants and seedlings that we've got going on at the moment and what we've actually got going into the ground and what's going to be going into the ground over the next couple of days so this is the greenhouse and this should have really been sorted a week or so ago because I can't actually plant anything in my borders at the moment because I've got all my seedlings. As you can see we've got chilli plants in here as well. Got all our corn ready to go out in the next week or two. Some of the tomatoes that wasn't planted in the polytunnel. My cape gooseberries, some of my cape gooseberries have been eaten. All my melons have been eaten by mice and the sweet peppers I need to repot on or get in the ground in one of the polytunnels or the greenhouse. They're looking a bit sickly. Extra corn on there as well because I'm growing two varieties and some more tomatoes there as well. We've also got sown cucumber that's probably about a week yeah I'd say about a week but again this one the mouse got so I've had to lift it up off the ground and then I've got some squashes which are Urchi Urchki Curie I don't know I have two out of all the ones I've actually sown oh wow it's so hot in here at the moment because I've just come down and opened the window and the door and it's 35 degrees in here far far too hot I need to remember to come down and actually start opening these doors up early on days where I know full well it's going to be warm I've also got my sunflowers which I've actually covered with a bit of fleece not to keep them warm but to keep the mice off because they were digging through everything to eat my seed and they need a really good water now the taller group is the tall sunflower I grew last year from my own seed and I think some of them have actually been stolen by the looks of it these particular sunflowers here the smaller ones are astras but I think I'm gonna have to sow some more I think the mice have had an absolute field day and they're not just in the conservatory greenhouse they're actually in this greenhouse now as well which really it's a giant pan in the these are pepper hot chilies i think these could probably do with a bit of a water as well they're feeling a bit light they were watered yesterday but i think they could probably do with a good soak so i've got a few of these and these are actually going to go into the beds in this greenhouse once i can get rid of some of these plants out and get them planted now our chilies we grew finger chilies and some scotch bonnet peppers and there was something else I can't remember so basically this year unless we buy some plants in it's going to be the pepper hop and the cayenne that's the two that we've mainly gone for this year but there is a lot of them I'm a bit gutted about my Cape gooseberry one but I do have another tray of Cape gooseberry plus some more at home but the ones at home have hardly moved didn't think it would be this difficult to grow Cape gooseberry so these are the Cape gooseberries you can see they've got an extra few leaves on now I'm hoping once they get potted on that they're gonna actually get a bit more life in them in the conservatory greenhouse I've still got leftover red calibos which if I need to pot on I've got those and it's the same as this tray of red drum as well these was an extra tray that I did and I just need to pot them on I've left it a bit late but as you can see over here these are these are all the red drum and red calibos already potted onto smaller cells we've sown some new broccoli as well because we've had so many issues with pests and the autumn green have started to sprout but not the Caesar so far fennel has started to grow as well the calettes really do need to be potted on it's one of my jobs for today chamomile nothing so far may have not done a good job with that and these are my sunstripe courgettes and I've got three of those 
and then I've got gherkins as well. Again, these all were sown a week or so ago in the greenhouse and left to their own devices. And they're okay. I'm, I'm reasonably content with that. And there we have our watermelon radish that we sowed not so long ago. Might need a bit more of a water again. But the, to be honest, the tray is actually quite heavy. I just think it's rubbish compost. Purple sprouting broccoli, that's ready to be pricked out and into individual pots, ready to replace the purple sprouting broccoli that we've actually taken up. And these are my bellotti beans. Hmm. Yeah, we'll see how they go. Might have to do some more. So outside, there's a little bit of change. I've started making my tomato structures. So I'm growing one area in grow bags and another area straight into a bed. And this is the grow bag one. Now I'm using string this year outside and I've just got to finish off the structure and I'll be planting tomatoes this afternoon. The other tomato bed is actually one of the beds that we had last year. And they'll go directly into this bed. No grow bags, no collars or anything like that. And I'll probably tie them with string as well. They've just literally sprang the last few days. Carobies at the moment is being left alone by pests, including pigeons, but we'll see. And the spinach is starting to pick up too. Plus we put some rocket in there as well, so it's all a bit into so. The broad beans, I thought I'd planted two different varieties. A taller one, which normally comes up about chest height on me, and a dwarf. But it actually looks like they all could be dwarfs, but they're flowering. And I always love a broad bean flower, it looks so pretty. Now these were sown months ago and planted into the ground while it was still very cold. And they're absolutely fine. And they had been dug up by foxes multiple times. Now we put the beans out and then that very night we had foxes come in and dig the beds again. And my husband's put a polytunnel kind of plastic over. But the stuff's really suffocating inside. It's touching the sides. It's going to get damaged. So I'm going to remove it. And these beans have only been in for a few days. But the temperature's warm enough not to be an issue. I don't think we're going to get any more frosts. And if we do, we'll put it under some fleece. No big deal. Quite a large issue with foxes at the moment. It's really getting on my nerves. And I'll show you what happened the other day. Peas, all growing well. Had a nice little spur. It's been very wet. So they've had plenty of water. But as you can see, we lost a few peas due to foxes digging. We actually found some bones buried in the site from foxes. So they must be going over locals, local bins and stealing and ripping bags open. Coriander and garlic in this side. Again, doing absolutely fine. And then we have parsley on the end too. I've also managed to get some of my outdoor tomatoes in. The temperatures now on the night time, they're not going to freeze. And if they do, I can always put a bit of fleece over like I did last year. I just need to get them out so I can actually get into the greenhouse and start planting up my greenhouse. Because at the moment, they're just taking up a lot of room. I have gone for the string method. It's a little bit easier. Some of them have got canes on just to support the pot. But I'm really, really hoping that Mr. Fox doesn't come in and have a go at the pots and the bags. I'll be very gutted if that happens. I may have to get my husband to pee in a bottle for me because I've heard that actually works quite well. I've just got to plant up the rest of my tomatoes probably tomorrow. 
quite hot down here today and I'm not very good in the sun. The pak choy that I planted that were being eaten alive by, by flea beetle have actually picked up really, really well. These were planted a while ago now, I think. And it won't be long before I get an actual harvest. Also the ones without the cover. Sometimes it's, it's good to actually give these plants that do get damaged by insects a little chance. I could have just literally took those out and reseeded. But they've done okay. Broccoli, not so much. That's been really targeted this year. And I'm down to about four, maybe four viable plants. But I have sowed some more just in case I do need any. And the kale will be going into the bed tomorrow. As that's now grown quite large. And I really do need to get that in. My husband's also put the squashes outside. Which of course is a little bit more of a risk. But again, the temperature's not going to drop enough to have any issues. And on that hoop will have them growing from both directions. So over this way is where I'm going to grow some of my taller peas up against the pallet. And I've put little beds of compost down on top of the hessian, basically a no dig bed. But the foxes just keep coming in and digging through it. Now I've put a little netting over it and it really, really has not stopped them doing it. So I really need to come up with another solution for this end. I really hate it that we have to use so much netting and wire to keep the local wildlife out. Whereas I'm all for sharing. When a fox digs a bed, it takes the whole bed. Now it's not for the vegetables or whatever you're growing in there. It's for all the juicy grubs and bugs and to bury whatever it finds, which a lot of the times it's rats. And it's absolutely stinks. It's so bad. I keep finding massive dead rats in beds where foxes are partially dug. Again, there is loads of different allotments they can go on. There's loads of empty. I'm in the countryside. There's loads of spaces for them. I don't want them on my plot. We've got our squashes in multiple different areas. And another area that we've got is here. Now, I'm not worried about the weather. It's pests. Last year, we tried a dome but they actually damaged more of the actual plants than actually protected. So um, we're not gonna do that this year. I've just got a few more plans to go ahead for the next few days, but things have just seemed to have picked up a little bit over the last few days and the growth has got so much better. It's a shame though, this is the only day in almost a week that it hasn't rained. And next week it's all rain as well. <laughs> 